in the writings produced by Frank Waters on Hopi mythology. The Sakwa Sohur, or Blue Star, is a kachina, or spirit, that signifies the beginning of the new world, arriving in the form of a blue star. It is the ninth and final sign before the day of purification. It is described as a cataclysm causing apocalypse upon Earth leading to the annihilation of Earth. A man named White Feather described the ninth sign of destruction via Frank Waters. You will hear of a dwelling place in the heavens above the Earth that will fall with a great crash. Kachina will appear as a blue star, and soon after this, my people's ceremonies will cease. In Water's book on the Hopi, the belief of the blue star Kachina marks the end of all Hopi rituals. In his book, he states that the end of all Hopi ceremonies will come when Kachina removes his mask. During a dance in the plaza before uninitiated children, that would be the innocent. This act will destroy the fourth world caused by the absence of Hopi ceremonies. Frank Waters also submitted a possible asteroid impact on Earth, leading to humanity's near extermination, leaving only the Hopis as the last survivors on the planet. According to Hopi prophecy, as reported by Waters, shortly after the Blue Star Kachina is visible to all, and the Day of Purification is realized. The true White Brother will come to Earth in search of Hopi, who steadfastly adhere to their ancient teachings. If the true White Brother fails in his mission, and is unable to find any uncorrupted men and women, the Earth will be destroyed, and none will be spared. However, if successful in bringing the symbols, and finding those who still follow the true Hopi way of life, the world will be created anew. All the faithful would be saved from destruction. Since there are no ancient Hopi texts, there is no way to know what the originals were. For instance, Hopi prophecies were verbally passed down, not written in text like the Bible as if writing words gives them more stature. But Christianity was once derived from oral tradition. The Hopi and the ancient Druids held the same knowledge relating to cataclysmic events. There may be plagiarism at work here, but let me say that one more time. Christianity was once derived from oral tradition. Please share 
like, comment, and subscribe for more ancient mysteries.